My name is Kelvin Kiptum. I'm from Kenya. I'm a marathon runner and the current world record holder. Yeah. Uh, yes, it was my first time uh, to be in uh, Chicago. Uh, I was feeling okay uh, and I was ready for the race. Uh, in fact, that day uh, I was like going to for my personal best uh, and to break the course record. At that moment, I was feeling good, feeling strong. I was feeling relaxed. Yeah. Uh, towards the halfway, my body was okay. Uh, I was telling the pacemaker, just let's uh, still push. It was a little bit slow, but it was good. Uh, that time I was trying to try myself to push the pace because it was a little bit slow. Uh, and that time the pacemaker could not keep up with the pace. So that's where I tried to move. Uh, in fact, I was with my, my friend Daniel Matiko, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, we helped each other through uh, that kilometer and he was very strong so I think we were helping each other. Uh, at the moment I was feeling like uh, I was going to run fast. Uh, towards the past 30 kilometers uh, I, where, that's where I normally break through and Try to focus on the race, to run fast. Yeah, that uh, towards uh, 35 kilometers, uh, I was, I was, uh, my mind was telling me you're gonna run fast, maybe you're gonna run a world record. So that that moment, I tried to to push a lot uh, towards the finish line. My when I was in 38. Uh, uh, I knew I was inside the world record, so I was trying to maintain the pace and the crowd uh, were cheering me, keep going, keep going, so I was feeling strong and keep on moving, yeah. Uh, I think there it was almost one one kilometer to go. There I knew I was running, I was going to run a world record, so I maintained. My body was good, I was feeling relaxed. Yeah, and that was my biggest time there. Uh, there, uh, I think there was a, a little bit hilly. Uh, so I was trying to maintain, it was very tough, but I tried myself to push hard. Uh, I think now it was almost 400 meters to go. Try to smile a little bit to keep my mind fresh. <laughs> yes, and that's where I, I was feeling okay. Now I turned the left corner, like 200 meters to go. I saw the finish line. I tried to push to kick. I was like, uh, maybe to run uh, under two uh, maybe two hours, 10, 15, but I was feeling like I gotta not make it. But that time I was, I was happy seeing the clock in front of me. I, to be the first man to run under two hours one. Yes, I was feeling happy, yeah. There was the celebration with the race organizer. I was feeling so exhausted and I was, I was happy. Yeah. Can't imagine uh, to run a world record. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Go see. My friend there was at the finish line. I was going to say hi from Kenya, I think, yes. 
to break my, my flag, country flag, celebrate. I think that was my biggest moment in Chicago. Yeah. I started preparing for Rotterdam. Uh, I think I'm going to Rotterdam for my second time. I've been there. It's a flat course. Uh, I really enjoyed and I was looking forward to come back. Uh, I think Rotterdam I'm going to try my best to maybe to beat my personal best. That's a world record. I think that's my my focus now to run fast. When I grew up, uh, Paul Tergat at that time was a famous athlete in Kenya. He won some gold medal. Yeah. So I I was like, uh, one day, one time, maybe me to I got compete, start training, and win some medals for Kenya. Uh, I think Olympics is in my mind again. It's a big goal. Uh, after Rotterdam, I'm, I'll go back home, train again. Uh, if I get a chance to be selected by the Federation of Kenya, I'll go and represent my country and to fight for any medal. I think there we are going as many. Everybody is prepared, so anything can happen. But I'm preparing for any medal, I'll be okay. <laughs>